How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am Wolfstalker25, and today I'm bringing you guys another review on one of the newer released uh, Zenmu or Bring on the Bad Guys Wave Red Skull. Um, I have had this guy for a little under a month now, and um, oh, accidentally hit the camera. But I have had this guy for a little under a month now, and he is pretty cool. I do very much enjoy him. Um, he is pretty awesome. He's got a load of accessories with him, which is something great and something you love to see with Marvel Legends and something that they do very well. And yeah, I like him. He's kind of basic and kind of plain, but let's get in and take a look at him. So firstly, let's look at the accessories he comes with. So the builder figure piece he does come with is the Zenmu head. Let's throw that off to the side. We don't need that anymore. Just want to show that I have it. I don't know when it or if I will complete Zenmu. As most of my wave did, most of my pre-orders did get cancelled uh, from Amazon, unfortunately. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, first little accessory he does come with is the Tesseract. It is a little translucent blue cube. You can see through it just a tiny bit. So, pretty nice. Glad we got the Tesseract with him. It's always nice to have another one in the collection. Especially if anyone missed out on the previous, like, two, three, or four Tesseracts that have been released. Um, next up, we have the... Red Skull Hydra SMG pistol, automatic pistol blaster thing. Um, pretty cool. Just all black. And it has the Hydra logo in yellow on it. I wish there was a little bit more paint detail on it or a dry brushing or something. But that's always you could something you could customize later. So you got that. You do get an extra set of hands. You get do get two fist hands for either side, which do have a hinge on them. As well as you get a other gripping action hand you get two one is on the figure currently so you get one for both sides and then you do get a trigger finger as well for both sides so you get six hands with this three sets of hands with this figure that's insane awesome i love it you do get the current helmet or not helmet but you do get the current red skull face where he is smiling on up there and then you get another one where it's a more angry like grin scowl um, which has very nice paintwork on the eyes in there i think this one might be uh, i might be a little cross-eyed cockeyed um but yeah nice little like black extra details in there to add a little bit weathering and depth to the red skull is in there so all right that's all the accessories that red skull comes with let's look at the figure himself uh, here's the one head that we currently have on him, his crazy, insane, grinning, smiling face, and uh, very comic booky, very, very menacing looking, um, pretty nice. Uh, with Red Skull, you do get the nice yellow band with the green Hydra logo on it, um, pretty good. Uh, mine does have like this weird big like cut into the chest, which I don't, I thought that was supposed to be there at first, but the more I look at it, I think that's a, like an error, so I guess... Red Skull's got some battle damage. I mean, you could physically feel it, which is a little unfortunate. Um, as well, he's got the nice green Hydra, like, jumpsuit with a nice black, like, roped belt. Um, the lime green light hands, the brown boots. He's got a little bit of weathering on him, but yeah, he's just in a just very basic generic color. So, um, I think this is a lot of new sculpt with this guy. I mean, the legs might be reused and the boots might be reused from somewhere, but... I think the upper body is pretty much new and the head's obviously new. Um, so really quick we'll get into the articulation for Red Skull. Red Skull does look up that far, so quite a ways. Can look down that far as well. Um, he does have neck and head articulation. Yeah, neck and head. So the neck and the head go back that far. Um, you get some pretty good tilt in there, so you could get some crazy like little tilting expressions with the skull uh which is pretty good um head obviously can rotate fully around so can the neck so the arms go up that far so you could do full t-pose if you want he does have a bicep cut um, arms can do a full 360 double jointed elbows which get very nice closed i mean it flattens out and you know it doesn't look the best but it closes up very nicely uh, wrists do hit swivel and they do have hinge 
These ones do have an upper hinge for the gun holding holster hands. The other ones do have a back of the hand, like outward hinge, outward inner. So he's got two different hinges. The fists have the same set of hinges as these. Both trigger fingers have the up down hinge. Um, does have a nice diaphragm, or not diaphragm, but like upper cut here. I, I uh, I guess it's the ab crunch, but it's a little high. So you can't go back that far, go down that far. Um, he does have the waist cut as well, so you can do full 360 with the legs. Um, and then the legs do go up that far. Pretty good for the skull. Can kick forward pretty far. Uh, back, not so much. Um, ooh, your skull can almost do the full splits. Pretty, pretty dang close upper thigh cut as well double jointed knees which let's see if we could get this They're pretty stiff oh yeah easy kicking his own butt um, yep well actually kicking his waist I think the skull also has he does have a boot cut as well ankles do hinge back that far forward that far and then he does have as always the amazing ankle pivot so, the Red Skull is very nice. Very good figure. Um, if you have missed out on previous Red Skulls or you don't have a comic one in your collection, this one is an awesome one to get. I really like it. The only thing I would change on the Red Skull would be uh, the maybe the red of the actual flesh tone, skin tone. Is, uh, I'd maybe darken it up a little bit. I feel like it is a little pinky. It doesn't help with the lights. The lights obviously on the on the camera are making it a little bit um, pinkish looking. It is a little bit darker of a red, so um, than it is on than it is in real life than on camera. But I would have rather had a little bit darker. Um, so really quick, I guess let's do a height check on the red skull. Uh, he is right about that six and a half inch mark. So six and a half inches tall. Let's do some size comparisons next to some other figures. So here he is next to some other Red Skulls. Here he is next to the Army Troop Builder MCU uh, Hydra Agent Red Skull. Um, he does have a head from the old, I think it was the, um, I don't remember. It was, it was from this body. I did a head swap with these two. I thought this looked better for a movie one and this looked better for my comic. So this was my comic stand in for the time. Uh, this was part of the old, like, um, shield, uh, mandroid, I, I don't remember what it was, but it was an old Captain America Winter Soldier way from the movie, but you got this Red Skull with it, so I head swapped. So yeah, I mean, he fits height-wise in line with that one. This one's a little short, but I think this one will probably be replacing this one on the comic display, or this one might be in a diorama with, like, with, like, uh, maybe Captain America. Um, speaking of Captain America, let's do a size comparison with his nemesis. The And we're going to be using the Walmart Captain America uh, that came out, I want to say, like one or two years ago. And yeah, these two facing off against each other is perfect. They scale up great. They look awesome next to each other. And I, I can't, can't wait to have that going on in photos or something. Um, Lastly, let's look at him next to a couple other Hasbro brands. Here is next to a Dino Thunder Power Rangers Lightning Collection Red Ranger and a Star Wars Black Series Captain Rex, as well as the Retro Collection Spider-Man, which unfortunately I am noticing my head joint is very loose. I don't know why. I've only been using them in videos. Um, so yeah, scales up all pretty nicely with those figures. And let's look at him next to the last domestic figure I have around here. Here he is next to a Halo Master Chief from Jazzware from the Spartan Collection. Um, here he is next to the only other figure I have, or well, one of the only other figures I have in this wave. Uh, here he is next to the Infinite um, Battle World uh, White Doctor Doom. Um, unfortunately, I was going to review Doom, but he did break, so I don't know if I'll do a review on him still I might I don't know but there he is scaled up next to Doom and let's look at him next to some import figures so here he is next to SH Figure Arts Goku as well as a Figma Samus 
so bigger than the both of them by quite a bit. A little disappointing, as always. Samus and Goku are kind of small, but that's what you get with the import stuff. Um, here he is next to a Mezco Stealth Iron Man. Looks fantastic. And here he is next to a Mofex Batman. So, pretty good. I mean, he is a super soldier after all, so I mean, easily can scale up next to uh, Batman, who's just a normal dude, and Iron Man, who's in armor. So, it looks good there. As well as a All Might. Um, and then, oh, one more thing. One more thing to compare. All right. And here he is, since I forgot to do this one with the Red Skull comparison, here he is next to the Iron Skull, uh, Iron Man Red Skull armor, and I think that works pretty well. You could definitely say Red Skull is in there. Um, let me see really quick while we're here if the Red Skull head... Oh yeah. That looks pretty good. It looks a little small. Are a little too big for the body and looks a little low, but you might be able to pull it up a little bit. So if you do have Iron Skull and you want a nice Red Skull head on him, I don't remember where my Red Skull head is from that, but you can do that as well. So that looks pretty good. So yeah, Red Skull is awesome. I really like this figure. It's one of the main ones I was looking forward to. Um, I did have Dormammu and Scientist Supreme pre-ordered, but unfortunately those ones did get cancelled. So, I guess I'll get them whenever I get them. I have had this guy for a little while now. I don't know when this review will go up. Um, I'll probably try and do this one on maybe Thursday. Uh, I've been doing a lot of World of Halo stuff lately. So, hopefully you guys have enjoyed that, as that is pretty cool. And you did like the um, Surter review. So, um, well, other than that, that has been all for me. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did like the video, go ahead and leave me a like down below. Let me know what you think of Red Skull in the comments. If this is your first time here, I would always appreciate a subscribe down below. It does help me out a ton and lets me know you are enjoying the videos and it keeps you guys up to date with all my new content. If you want to, get, want to, you can go follow me on Twitter as well. I always forget to plug this. I post all my stuff when I pick it up and get it. I post it over on Twitter usually. And you get to see stuff there and you get to know when all the videos are going live as well. So, hopefully you did enjoy this video. I have been Wolfstalker25. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.